Let's explore on how to fix EAFC24 DirectX error. Let's begin. Okay, so the FC24 error code in EA games accompanied by a DirectX error suggests an issue with the uh, DirectX components on your system. Now, we are going to ensure that we are going to explore steps that you can take to troubleshoot and potentially fix the FC24 direct X error, okay? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is ensure that your graphic card drivers are up to date because obviously outdated or incompatible drivers can lead to freezing issues and having these direct X errors. So you need to visit the official website of your graphics card manufacturer to download and install the latest drivers you need to ensure that your system has the latest version of DirectX installed obviously you can download and install the latest version from the official microsoft DirectX website as you can see it from here all right because a number of runtime libraries from the legacy direct x from some games that use the 3dx9 and until these numbers does not modify the uh, direct x runtime installed on your windows os all right and then the next th step that we can do is you might want to confirm that your pc meets the minimum system requirements for the ea game you are playing say for example if your hardware is below the requirements it may struggle to run the game in direct x properly now some games like EA FC24 have a direct X repair tool that comes with the installation. You might want to check that game's installation directory or options in the launcher to see if there's an option to repair or reinstall direct X. And the good thing about um checking for Windows updates is say for example um you need to ensure that your operating system is up to date windows updates often include updates to direct x components all they're gonna do is go to settings update and security windows update and check for updates and by doing so all they're gonna do is go to your start menu type in settings and from here as you can see update security and click on windows update and check for any relevant updates that your computer might need and after updating your computer you might want to restart and see if the problem has been fixed if not you may need to perform a clean graphics driver installation now uninstall your current graphics driver using a tool like display driver uninstaller or ddu and then reinstall the latest drivers from the official website now from here you might want to check again your current graphics drivers and then reinstall the latest drivers from the official website and as we've mentioned there's a lot of uh, graphic drivers tool that you can use to ensure that you have the latest updated drivers to see and to make sure that your problem is going to be fixed all right you may also need to check for overheating because overheating can cause hardware related issues including direct x make sure your system is adequately cooled and check for dust buildup in fans and heat sinks now to check that your computer has uh, the right temperature you might want to install this uh, mem chest 86 all right i have it in my um computer installed and it helps me to check the uh temperature every now and then it gives you a detailed insights and an analysis all right um to make sure that my heat sinks and whatnot are not causing any hardware related issues and after that you might want to run direct x diagnostic tools now from here all you're gonna do is open the uh, direct x diagnostic tools to check for any issues and press the uh, windows key plus r to open the run dialog now type dx diag and press enter and check for any errors in the notes section on the uh, various tabs okay okay so if the uh, direct x persists 
try uninstalling and reinstalling the game because sometimes it can resolve issues with corrupted game files or direct x components and see how that if it works and then try to restart but if the issue is still persistent you might want to consider reaching out to ea support they may be able to provide specific assistance based on your account and system setup Remember that DirectX errors can be caused by a variety of factors and the effectiveness of these tips may vary according to your situation, right? And again, it would be wise to always refer to the official EA support resources for the most accurate and up-to-date information. Many game launchers now have a verification or repair option, so you might want to check on that. And I believe that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next one.